Okay, now this, this Asian pear that I showed you uh, that had been girdled by the uh, whatever rodents chewed on the on the bark. Uh, I have since uh, trimmed off um, a bunch of the branches and the reason is because the thing uh, was weakened obviously in its uh, state without having any bark around the end and uh, it contracted what they call fire blight. Now, fire blight is a bacterial infection it, uh, and it can spread via the air to all of your other fruit trees so it is critical that you get rid of this. Um, you can do it by trimming off the, the branches uh, 12 to 18 inches below the fire blight and a lot of that's on new growth and I'll show you why they call it fire blight. Um, here is uh, just some of the leaves that came off of here. And these leaves, you can see, it looks like, you know, the tree was in a fire. They just turned black, like charred, like uh, like they got uh, burned. So um, what I'm going to do now is I still have a little bit. I didn't take it off high enough. I didn't have a ladder. So uh, now that I've got the ladder out here, I'm going to basically cut off... Um, some more of this tree and try to save it. If I can't, I may have to uh, take the entire thing out um, and just leave the root and hopefully some shoots will come back up. But it's a shame because this is a four-year-old tree and um, I'm going to probably lose this thing because I was stupid and didn't follow my own advice and didn't put onions or garlic or any of the alliums around the base of the tree. So mice, some sort of rodent did go near the thing and girdle the entire okay, thing. You can see that the, the tree has some fire blight still up here and uh, this is really getting bad but um, it's got, you can see the, it's actually cracked, the bark is cracked here. Um, I'm gonna have to cut it off really low to try and save this thing if at all possible. Okay so you can see the fire blight on this big piece of the Asian pear that I cut out and uh, it's important when you cut it you cut it at an angle um, that'll make the tree less susceptible to disease and such um, so I have cut this thing down a little bit more and um, one of the things that you need to make sure that you do as well is that you clean your tools. Now I've got a bath here um, with uh, essentially it's chlorine and water and um, what you don't want to do you want to make sure that you you clean these tools and wipe them off um, so that you don't spread the disease to other trees when you use it. Now using chlorine in water is not a good thing for your tools either but uh, what I do afterwards is wipe them down and then I spray them with with WD-40 um, or oil to make sure that they don't rust. Now I would normally give cuttings like this you know prunings or anything like that I would normally give them to my goats and let them eat these but uh, with fire blight I don't know if um, if it's going to bother the goats, hurt the goats, or uh, and I also don't know if the bacteria will just stay in their poop and then into the soil and spread through the rest of my garden again. So I want to make sure that uh, that doesn't happen. So basically the best thing to do with this stuff is just to uh, take it to the dump and let them deal with it. Um, I, um, I've heard that you can't burn it because it will get airborne and then it'll get into other trees. So best thing to do is uh, basically just get it off your property. Now that you clean all your tools off um, with the uh, chlorine solution, but also your gloves, anything that might end up touching um, your garden stuff, uh, other things. So I mean, I, I put it on my wagon too. Because uh, this thing, um, I just don't want this to spread throughout the rest of my rest of my fruit trees. I got way 
have way way too much invested in this uh, in this garden to let this um, devastate it so again one little stupid mistake of not doing what I was supposed to do in terms of putting onions around the base of a tree and that caused uh, mice to to gird the tree and um, ultimately created a much bigger problem for me than I needed to deal with so take it from me um, put some onions around the base of your tree so you don't end up having a tree that's susceptible to other diseases like fire blight which could spread throughout the rest of your garden okay and it is a month later and the uh, the pear tree that had the fire blight on it the Asian pear um, we have new growth that does not have fire blight so um, looks like we were successful in uh, getting rid of the fire blight and the tree fought off whatever um, bacteria it had everything looks uh, looks good 